to your first piano lesson. So in front of you, you should have a book called Alfred's Basic Piano Library, Lesson Book Level 1A. Make sure it's 1A. That is very, very important. We have 1B as well. You want 1A. So if you have that book in front of you, you are ready to begin piano lessons. So let's start with how to sit at your piano. You want to make sure no matter what piano you have, a little keyboard you could have, you could have a big grand piano in front of you, whatever that is, you don't want to sit like this because this is just going to be uncomfortable. You want to sit up straight and you want your fingers to be nice and curved. You don't want to play like this or else it's going to be crazy. You want to sound nice and, sit nice and straight and have your fingers nice and curved. This is a way to successfully play piano, okay? Don't be tight and tense, just relax and sit at your piano, okay? Keep your back nice and straight. Let's look at the next page. Fingers have numbers, right? In piano, you have five fingers, including your thumbs and your thumbs count. In both hands, thumbs are number one. So you know kind of rhymes, right? Thumb one, thumbs are number one. Thumbs are number one. So what do you think your pointer finger is? Finger number two. Middle finger is finger number three. Ring finger, finger number four. Pinky is five. Every single finger has a name. The number, name number. So thumb one, pointer finger two, middle three, ring four, pinky five. Practice this, draw this, trace your hands, Draw the finger numbers, whatever you need to do to remember this is very, very important, okay? Once you feel like you have your finger numbers down, go ahead and flip over to the keyboard. So if this should be page six. If we have different page numbers, that's okay. Some editions of this book are different. You just want it to look like this. You'll see on your piano that you have a collection of white notes and dark notes, white and black, right? The higher you go up on the piano, do you see how the sounds go higher this way? The lower you go, they go lower to the left. So the right hand here plays your high notes. The left hand plays your low notes. You'll notice that your black keys are grouped in groups of three and two. There's a pattern. Watch. Three, two, three, two, three, two. Three, two. So when we start playing, we are going to work on putting fingers one and two. So let's review, right? I'm sorry, two and three, not one. Thumbs down. Two and three. Like you're almost saying peace. He's out. Fingers two and three on groups of two black notes. So let's take our right hand and put it on two black notes. Try to go back and forth between finger two, three, two. Maybe go to the next set of two numbers. Or maybe try it in your left hand, right? So you have two right here. Two right here. Two right here. Two right here. So you can practice both hands going up and down the keyboard in groups of two to your heart's content to get used to that. So go ahead and pause this video, play around your piano. Use those two fingers playing groups of two black notes only. When you feel ready, go ahead and flip the page over to page seven. On page seven, we focus on three black notes. So we're going to use fingers two, three, and four. We'll start with our right hand, okay? Find the groups of three black notes and go ahead and play. Then go up to the next three. Tap up the next three. Maybe then try it in your left hand now. Two, three, four. Remember, this is two. Now, go ahead and pause and mess around. Make your own songs, make your own tunes. Play around. You can't do it wrong. I just want you to get used to playing in your piano and see what it feels like. Okay? Enjoy that. Play around with groups of two black notes, groups of three black notes. And when you're ready, we'll continue on, all right? 
So when you're ready, let's look at this page. So there's a couple of things here to keep in mind. We have a new term called the quarter note. It's black and it has a stick on it. It's a short note and it gets the count of one. So if you see a quarter note, you're gonna play it for the count of one. One, 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 right? Pretty easy. So this song has a couple things it's telling you about. Right hand, RH. When you see RH, you're going to use what hand? Right hand. When you see LH, you're going to use left hand. R for right, L for left. Those are very important things to know. So let's look at our first song here. It's telling you the position of what to play. It's saying it wants you to put your second and third finger on two black notes in your left hand and your second and third finger on two, right, two black notes in the right hand. And you're gonna start RH. Two, three, two, three, two, three two, three, let me show you. So right hand, high. Right notes go on the high notes. You can come up here or down a little bit if you want. But here's what it should sound like. Two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three. Do that over and over again until it makes sense to you. Now you go to your left hand, come down to the low one. So remember, this is finger two, your pointer finger. And what we just played there was line two, left hand, two, three, two, three. One important thing to pay attention, look at this, see how this is down here? And the note above it goes up. That means it's gonna sound higher. That sounds like this, ready? You start on two. You go higher to three, lower, higher, lower, higher, right? So you're following along. Left hand starts higher and goes lower. It sounds like this. Two, three, two, three, higher, lower, higher, lower. So you're following actually which direction these notes go in. So that's gonna end right there for our first lesson. That's a lot of information for our first lesson. So practice, 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 practice. And when you feel ready, we can probably go ahead and move ahead to the next video. I'll see you guys then. Bye.